recording. So talked about the mind-body um, connection and physical illness is my favorite topic, actually. I love talking on this because I had kidney failure, gout, asthma, a lot of physical illnesses, aches and pains, can't breathe, hor horrific stuff, machines to keep me alive. And I, I met a man, his name was Dr. David R. Hawkins, who transcended 23 illnesses and described to me what was required to transcend illness. And he found when he transcended an illness, the illness tended to disappear for all his illnesses. And that was my experience as well. So I think that's quite miraculous. Um, so the mind body really, you know, if there is any dis-ease in the mind or the emotions or dis-ease in the body, for me, it's usually a reflection of dis-ease at the spiritual level. So if you want to correct the body, and The Course in Miracles talks about magical things, like the doctor gives you a pill, or you go to yoga, or, um, or you do all these outside things to fix you. And, um, and that's what the Course would call magical, fixing it from the physical level first, or even practicing some kind of therapy, which is um, not spiritual, or some kind of self-help book, which is not, 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 not God consciousness. It's not really nourishing the spirit. It's trying to fix problems from the level of the physicality, like doctors of medicine and pills, or seeing a therapist to talk about your childhood. Uh, so I'm not saying, and, and actually, I mean, Hawkins would say, uh, you definitely give it all, all a go, but the, the deeper primary route, and sometimes if you want a quick cure, like popping a pill in your mouth is the fast cure, just fixing the physical level, or if you're feeling emotional, popping an antidepressant in your mouth might, might work for you, uh, and seems like the problem is fixed. But actually, the deeper, if you fix the spiritual and you've got enough time, you're not going to die quickly, and you fix the spiritual thing, generally speaking, um, the physical problem will leave. I mean, if you're 99 years old and you've got like, um, uh, let me be careful in what I say, you've got like a life-threatening illness and you just want to fix the, um, the spiritual level and, and, and you probably, a doctor just said to you, you've got three days to live and you don't take the physical and uh, emotional treatments, you don't take the antidepressants and the painkillers and the operations. Um, my experience to clear illnesses spiritually, really serious, long-standing, is about three to five years of intense spiritual work, cancelling beliefs, feeling the feelings, going to the observer, and then even chronic long-standing, like kidney organ failure, like serious shit, you know, uh, I said the word, I shouldn't have said that word, but never mind, uh, dice machine. So that's, that took three to five years of cancelling, feeling out the feelings behind the illness, not using any um, magical fixes, you know, not stuffing myself full of tablets or stuff or, or limiting beliefs um, that I sometimes get from the medical profession about this is impossible. So three, so you might not have three to five years or you might, for some people, it might take even 10 years to clear something just spiritually before you see the effects on the physical level. So for me, any thought held in mind, if I hold a belief that I'm subject to cancer, to hormonal problems, to male problems, uh, you know, like, for example, let me, let me see, like prostate problems. This is in the collective. What about male and female archetypes? I'm starting to go off topic. Well, male and female archetypes, like the male archetype is very much like when you're 60 years old, you probably have prostate problems. Do you know how many belief, the belief system, that belief system in the collective for men is just, it's actually not a male problem. For me, it's just the belief systems associated with the collective of the male archetype. Female problems, you know, you're going to, um, uh, at a certain age, you're going to run through these hormonal problems. For me, that those are just the belief systems. They're actually not real, but they're the software, uh, the programs, the belief systems in generally in the female archetype. And then you have the beliefs of the male archetype. And for me, um, all belief systems, which can be time related, can be cancelled, feel out the repressed feelings around them, deny the belief in myself, deny the beliefs in the world, cancel the hell out of it. And my experience is all of it, none of it is real. Negative emotions aren't real. If you can clear them at the spiritual level, I'm not saying I'm not against medicine or therapy or antidepressants or any kind of operations, definitely not. That's not what I'm saying. So 
the mind body connection you know when people go to and I, you know yes see a doctor see a therapist pop some pills uh, and I'm all for that but I think the deeper problem uh, to really spiritually eliminate the thing has to be on the level of the spiritual and if you eliminate it on the spiritual level if you're not at this ease around your physical illness your emotional problems your hormonal problems at the spiritual you're at that vibration of the infinite where the miraculous is possible if you go to God for the miracle rather than you don't I mean it's, it's good to go to the doctor for the miracle it's good to go to antidepressants for the miracle but if you want to go to God too you have to you have to um, clear it at the spiritual level and, it, and in my experience it does go on the physical level and emotional levels but um, a lot of people are haven't got the time or it's, it's the impatience uh, but I'm not saying I think you should you know pop the antidepressants in take the surgery take the antidepressants and do the spiritual work which is the safe way and, and, and I would be advised I'm not telling anyone what to do of course these are just my personal opinions I'm not a I'm not a doctor or a psychiatrist I haven't got a license to do any of those things so okay I'm going to shut up on that one um, and click stop